Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again. Thanks for stopping by, and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other BF4 videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, I've been doing a lot more sniping in BF4 lately, and it's been really interesting to see how some of the guns have changed that I don't normally use. And I've been thinking a lot about what the best sniper setup is in BF4, which is a question that I think I've changed my mind on a few times over the last few years. To begin with though, I think there's no question that the 93R is the best pistol for a sniper setup, but when it comes to the bolt actions, I think there's more of a debate. And ultimately, I think it's largely going to come down to personal preference, so I completely understand if you don't agree with me on any of this for whatever reason. In my opinion, the three guns that really stand out at the moment as the best sniper rifles in game are the L115, the SRR61 and the M98B. And in previous patches, I probably would have even included the Gold Magnum in this list, but it's actually been nerfed quite a bit. So of these three, I think I've always preferred the slower firing long range bolt actions, which narrows it down to the SRR61 and the M98B. And of these two, I think I'm going to have to go with the M98B, because in my opinion, its stats are a little bit more well-rounded, and it looks awesome as well. So to kick off, the M98B fires 338 Lapua ammo, so in-game that means it's got the same hard-hitting damage model as the SRR61. And that's important because these guns also have the same rate of fire, the same reload time, and the same recoil pattern. The big difference is that the M98B has a slightly faster muzzle velocity of 650 meters per second and a slightly larger capacity of 11 rounds. Whereas, on the other hand, the SRR61 has got a lower bullet drop of 6 meters per second squared, which theoretically does make it slightly better at longer ranges. The thing is though, unless you're sniping at 500 meters or more, the difference in bullet drop isn't going to really make a big difference. And that's because bullet drop also takes into consideration the speed of the bullet, which is where the M98B has the advantage. So the way I look at it, if you're going to be sniping at less than 200 meters, then there's really no point sacrificing the extra capacity and velocity. Because the M98B really isn't that much worse than the SRR61 at long range anyway, so all in all, I'd say it's probably the better all-round sniper rifle. Now, that being said, a good all-round sniper rifle is definitely not how I'd describe the M98B, and that's because it fires so slow that most of the time, you won't get a chance for a follow-up shot. In fact, a lot of the time, if you do hit a target in the body, you'll need to switch over to your sidearm to finish them off, which is where the 93R comes in, because it's super effective at peppering targets to do that final bit of damage. The reason the 93R is so good in general though, is because it fires at 900 RPM and deals 22 damage at close range. So in other words, it's pretty much as good as the AEK in close quarters, which is just what you need when you're running a slow firing bolt action. A lot of players prefer the G18 instead, but the big difference, I think, is that the 93R has better recoil and it fires in burst fire mode, which I've always thought makes it slightly more accurate and is also probably why I've always preferred the feel of the 93R over the G18. Now, apart from the weapons, as for the rest of the loadout, well, of course, I'm running the PLD, which is the number one essential tool in any sniper's kit. And admittedly, it's not as effective as it once was, but it's still good to highlight scope glint and it's a great way to range fine targets. As for my other gadget, well, as you can see, I'm running with the tugs, which I think is a great gadget for any defensive sniper playstyle. But with that being said, if you're more of an aggressive player, you might want to switch this out for something else, like the C4 or the motion balls. As for grenades, well, I think smokes are probably the best for any sniper class because you can use them to cover your retreat. Also, you can use them to create temporary concealment if you need to expose yourself to take out a target, or if you want to distract the enemy. And last but not least, as you can see, I'm also running the sniper perk, which I think makes a really big difference, especially with a slow firing gun like the M98B. Because even on tier 1, it reduces scope sway, which can really screw up your aim when you're trying to go for those all important headshots. But anyway, to finish up, like I said, you might have a completely different opinion on the best sniper setup, which is completely fine. And like I also said, that's probably got a lot to do with personal preference, and most importantly, how you like to play the game. 
For example, the M98B is a gun that you want to be consistently hitting headshots with, whereas a gun like the M40 allows you to be a bit more careless. So that's why I think a lot of players prefer a gun like the L115, which is pretty much like the logical middle ground between these two. So I guess if you're not a great sniper to begin with, don't expect to love the M98B straight away because it won't hold your hand. Learn how bullet drop works and learn how to lead your target first, and then when you come back to this one you'll see why I think it's so good. As for the rest of this setup though, well if you're not already using the 93R and the rest of these gadgets, then you really should be. And that's because I think they work well with any bolt action. But once again, if you've got a different opinion, then feel free to let me know. But anyway guys, that just about wraps up this video, so let me know what you think in the comments section below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos, or if you want to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.